What Animals Really Like is the third and latest book written by author Fiona Robinson. She received an award of excellence in children's literature for this book in 2012. Originally from the north of England, she now lives in Brooklyn, New York with her husband and six-year-old son. Today, I will be interviewing her at Monmouth County Library headquarters in Manalapan. Miss Robinson, welcome to Kids Hub, and congratulations on receiving an award of excellence for your book, What Do Animals Really Like? Can you tell us about this book? Thank you, Zachary. Yes, this book is a story about a choir of animals who have to sing a song, and they don't really like the song because they've been told what to sing and the conductor is the writer of the song and he's decided that he knows what they like and they start to rebel and say what they really like instead so um, it ends up that the animals um, get to sing what they really love. You also do the illustrations for your books which do you like doing more? Oh that's a very good question it's also a very tricky question to ask because I like both. I like the first stage is having ideas and mostly in my head there's an, a mixture of words for the story and pictures and then there comes a point where I just want to write and then after the writing there a, comes a point where I just want to do the drawing so they work together, they work kind of in harmony and I wouldn't like to do one without the other. It's how I always envision doing things. And I always like to think of it as mm, more telling a story than doing separate words, separate pictures. I'm telling a story. So that's, that's what I'm attempting to do. Uh, but I like both equally. I love words and I love pictures too. At what age did you realize you wanted to write children books? Um, I think I was pretty young. I was about six years old. And I was at school and I loved how happy I felt when the teacher read to us. And um, I loved books. I really liked turning pages and throwing myself into a different world and imagining that I was in that world with the characters. And I just was determined from a very early age that that's what I wanted to do because I think my mum and dad had jobs which were quite boring and they used to get home at night and complain about them. So I thought pretty early on, I thought, I'm going to have a job that I love so I don't have to complain about it at night. And that was my, my drive and my determination in the end that, that made me do what I wanted to do. Um, do you already have an idea for your next book? I do, and I've, I've actually nearly f I've finished my next book and it's in the process now of being printed. Um, and this is it, it's called Whale Shines. And it's about a whale in the ocean who wants to become an artist. And in the story, he sees all the other sea creatures who are very good at art putting their sh uh, pictures together for a special show that, that weekend. And he's very frustrated because he doesn't know what he wants to paint and he doesn't know how to paint it. But he finds help from an unexpected place. I'll let you into a little secret. He actually finds help from something he would usually eat. Thank you. Yes. Hey, you're smart, yes. He, he finds help from some plankton, yes. And then, it, I can't give too much away, but then he decides not to eat plankton because they become very good friends. Thank you so much, Miss Robinson, for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for asking me such great questions. It is easy to see why her work has been praised for her humor. These books are hysterical. This is Zachary Bellantoni reporting for Kids Hub TV.